Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your hub for all things gaming. Today, we're tackling a hot topic that's been stirring up the gaming community, Dragon's Dogma 2 and its approach to microtransactions. With 21 downloadable items launched alongside the game, including some of its rarest artifacts, we have to ask, has Capcom taken microtransactions too far? Let's dive into the details and explore the fine line between enhancing player experience and crossing into controversial territory. Dragon's Dogma 2, a sequel with high expectations. Dragon's Dogma 2 was one of 2024's most anticipated releases, coming off as a sequel to the 2012 original that many gamers consider a flawed masterpiece. The original game was celebrated for its expansive fantasy world, diverse character classes, and epic mythical beast battles. However, the sequel's launch has been met with mixed reactions, not least because of its surprising embrace of microtransactions. A blizzard of downloadable content. At launch, players found themselves faced with a staggering 21 individual DLC items on Steam, including some of the game's rarest items. This move has sparked debates across forums and social media, with some players feeling that this approach preys on the less patient among us, offering shortcuts to those willing to pay extra. Microtransactions a necessary evil? Capcom argues that all these microtransactions are for items that players can find in-game if they choose not to pay for them. This includes items like port crystals for creating fast travel points, wake stones for resurrecting companions, and rift crystal packs for hiring more powerful pawns. While this might seem reasonable, the introduction of microtransactions for basic game functionalities like changing your character's appearance has ignited controversy. Character customization behind a paywall in Dragon's Dogma 2. Changing your character's appearance after the initial setup requires an art of metamorphosis tome, which costs 500 rift crystals in Dane. With these tomes being scarce and rift crystals hard to come by, Capcom offered a solution that didn't sit well with everyone, selling these tomes for $1.99 each. This decision has particularly frustrated players, as character customization is often expected to be a free aspect of RPGs. Capcom's response to the backlash The backlash over these microtransactions and other issues like the game's single save file system prompted Capcom to take some corrective actions. They've now increased the number of Art of Metamorphosis tomes available in-game and released a character creator and storage DLC allowing players to store multiple custom characters and pawns. These changes are steps in the right direction, showing that Capcom is responsive to player feedback. The bottom line, the question of whether microtransactions have gone too far in Dragon's Dogma 2 is complex. On one hand, offering optional in-game purchases can enhance the gameplay experience for those who wish to skip the grind. On the other hand, placing basic functionalities behind a paywall can alienate the player base and undermine the integrity of the game. As gamers, we value the freedom to explore, customize, and experience games on our terms. It's reassuring to see Capcom making efforts to address player concerns, indicating that the shadow cast by microtransactions won't darken the potential brilliance of Dragon's Dogma 2. What do you think about the microtransaction model in Dragon's Dogma 2? Is it a fair approach to enhancing gameplay or does it cross the line? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest from Joystick News. Until next time, keep gaming!